how how do you define balance? Like, no, having met you all before, and and now knowing you now, and can you talk just a little bit about your your journey and how you define balance today as as how it might be different than how you defined balance before? Balance was something I didn't even know I'd have to define when I got started in real estate. Um, you know, our story again is like it was like fight or flight. Just I just had to make sure our family was taken care of, and I didn't realize that down the road what would happen is I came up with this this morning and I was like, oh my God, it's true. Um, at some point you can let real estate get the best of you and then your family gets the rest of you. And that's where I felt like I had gotten to. Um, so balance for me is like being able to still do the work you need to do, but then creating space for all the other things that are actually the most important thing in your life. Like to me, work should always come second to your family. It shouldn't be the other way around. And you can definitely tell where I'm at balance wise by my mood. Like if I'm short, irritable, and angry, I'm out of balance. And or I have to angry. or hungry. <laughs> Actually most, most likely Get hungry. Her some <laughs> For Tracy, she needs a triple latte when she's cranky. Mm -hmm. My caffeine. So so balance to me is really just making sure that you're slowing down when you need to and making space for all those things that fill you back up you know and that's my family and my friends and like also making time for myself occasionally yeah. occasionally yeah, but then, yeah we take meetings at the nail spa we'll get our nails painted we're like we can talk about this over getting our nails done <laughs> killing two birds with one stone no that's awesome yeah don't, don't tell anybody but so my wife said hey date night would you like to go to Manny Petty and I'm like not really sure like if we can go someplace in a different county that nobody will actually see. right don't tell anybody on okay. camera yeah. okay uh, but i left there and i'm like holy smokes the the pedicure thing where I they're know. like rubbing your calves yes. and stuff the i'm best. like this is crap <laughs> you all have held back and hidden this from us so. i got my husband a pedicure gift certificate for christmas too a couple years ago and he was like Really? And then he went, and then I found out he like had gone again after that. I, like, I told you. Yeah, he's like, oh, I think your husband came in. I'm like, oh, he's so busted. Busted. Yeah, sure. but good for him. Yes. Yeah. So, so back to balance then. So, one of the things that I think most people think of is they go, all right, well, if I'm going to make other things a priority, and I'm going to try to seek that balance in my in my life, I'm going to have to give up. I'm going to have to give up on some of whether it be my personal time, or I'm gonna have to give up some, maybe it's maybe it's income, maybe I have to, sure. to sacrifice yeah. on my That's business um, so that I can have that. Is, is it true? Like, how, to, how does that all work? Are you are you more effective in business? Are you less effective in business? Um, now that we're able to create space um, and balance in our life, it's not just like, the active part of it either is my mind like I'm always like or I was before like what am, what am I forgetting what do I need to do tomorrow what do I need to prepare and so I never I could literally be staying in a room like this and like in my head I'm like oh my gosh what are all things I have to do but that's why this was so important to us because now that we have support we can actually in from Coldwell Banker but also from each other as a team right. like we can actually go do things and be a hundred percent present doing like vacation. Like yeah. I was just telling some of the girls that our kids are in different school districts. So we have different spring breaks. She goes on spring break. I do all the work and then she can actually go on spring. When's the last time you had like a week where you didn't have to? Couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, where I could just like literally kind of let go of something and just mm -hmm. be present and not worry about it. She's got my back. You That's know? wonderful. Yeah. So the team situation is actually awesome. Mm -hmm. You can really find someone you work well with.